a woman who starts off her complaint by saying the worst things you could possibly say about your mother, she was married 13 different times, has five or seven different children, all from different men. She was motivated by abuse and greed. So my boyfriend and I decided to live with her. You don't persuade me with the faces. So like, why don't you just not do them? Do you not like Daniel for some reason? Yes. What is that reason? When she first had her first child, he was cheating on her with tons of women. She had found out she had broke up with him. She went outside and beat the crap out of his car, scratched it up, wrote words on it, everything. I protected my daughter and said, you know, because it was in my name, the car. I had said she didn't do it. And you then, said it was his car, but now you said it's in your name. No, it was in both of our names, but my name was on the title first. So she scratched her own car? Yes. Another story that makes no sense. Your allegation here is that she has your personal property. Mm -hmm. And there are orders of protection in here. Who is Jose? Me. I thought you were Daniel. Mm -hmm. Well, my full name's Jose Daniel Flores. So you're going in here on Daniel, and in these papers that I'm reading, I'm like, who the heck is Jose in these orders of protection? This is a report made on February 13th. The complainant is you, Tracy. And it says the officer respond to a report of domestic violence. They arrive on the scene. They speak to Tracy, Virginia, and Jose. Are you also Virginia? Yes. yes. My ID says um, Virginia Marisol Ortiz. The police found that Jose assaulted Tracy. Virginia tried to take the phone from your mom while she was on the phone with dispatch. Your daughters were in the home. You were both intoxicated. You were both arrested. You have young kids. How old are your little girls? Six and eight. Old enough to understand. So what is it that you say she took? A drill? A $20 drill she's got? You have a $20 what? drill? Mm -hmm. it's you want to give it back? You're going to yeah. give it back? She give it have. back. You got your drill back. What about the decorative pillows? You have decorative pillows? It's one pillow. It's here, too. Okay. And what about these game consoles? That's mine. I've had it since she was probably about... 12 years old. How long have you been playing those game consoles? Um, we actually just bought those and we have the receipts and stuff. And you have photographs of them? Yes, Your Honor. Exhibit A has like a picture of the stuff. Well, what I see here looks like a commercial. Yeah, <laughs> it's because we posted on our Snapchat. Like we're going to start having game nights with that. I have here a DVD game exchange. We apparently. have, that's the receipt for everything and on there. the receipt. There. How do I know this is page. yours? The next page shows the receipt, my credit card number. How do I know oh, that's your credit card number? I have a credit card. Take it out. Sure. You think I'm going to take your word for anything, oh. Judge Corriero? I can barely contain myself. You're suing your mother for two game consoles, and you're doing it publicly. So how old are you, young lady? 25. And how old are you, young? 27. Ms. Batista, the plaintiffs contend that you are holding two game consoles. What proof do you have? Honor, look at the bottom of the receipt. Before. I've had the GameCube and stuff since she was. You have a receipt? Hold on one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove it right now. They bought this game thing after she went to jail. If you look down on the bottom of the receipt, it shows right here. She bought this February 20th, 2021. This is when she bought it. She went oh, to there and... Can I interrupt real quick? At the bottom is the day it was print. At the top right, exhibit B6, it shows the date it was purchased, July 9th, 2020. 